Hello, everybody out there on Facebook. This is Bjorn Bjorholm. I'm coming to you live from Fujikawa Kokan Nursery in Osaka. Right now, I'm working on this Procumbens Juniper. This is a continuation of the demo that I did a bit yesterday on Facebook Live. As you can see, I made my way towards the top of the tree, and now I've got left is the uh, apex. So I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday. I'm just going to work on the tree while this video is running. Um, I probably won't talk that much, but if you guys, if you guys, if you guys have some questions, feel free to throw those out to me, and I may answer those as we go along here. So this tree has actually been in the Kokofu twice before, and with this particular styling, I'm styling it to take it back to the Kokofu, but not for the exhibition itself. This tree is going to go up for sale uh, on our sales booth. So again, I'm just working on the apex, just going to work. You can watch, you can put some comments up or throw out some questions, and I may answer them as I go. But for the most part, this is just to observe what we do here uh, at Fujikawa Kokan in Osaka. And later what I'll do once I finish this tree, I'll shut the video down and then I'll post some photos of the before and after uh, of the plant uh, up on my uh, Facebook page. So that's at Bjorn Bjorholm Bonsai. So please feel free to like that and you'll get updates from that page as we go along. Okay, so I'm just going to keep working on the apex of this tree. Feel free to throw out some questions and again I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm just going to be working on this. Now, of course, my goal with this tree is not to wire every single branch. I want to use the least amount of wire to do the most amount of work. And one of the nice things about percumbens is they don't require a whole lot of wire to get the job done. The more wire you put on, typically the messier they look. So I'm using the least amount of wire to get the uh, most amount of effect out of the tree. Awesome, thanks for all the comments. Uh, someone asked me how old the tree is. Um, I'm not exactly sure, it's definitely Yamadori, so it came out of the mountains in Japan. It's been in the pot for quite a long time, it's well established, like I said before, it's been in the cocoa food twice already, uh, so it's had plenty of time to develop in the pot. My guess is minimum probably 150 to 180 years old, uh, but likely older than that.
Thanks, Rafael. You're watching from Phoenix, Arizona. I appreciate it. Tori asks, when will you do a continuum two? Uh, I don't know if I'll do a continuum two, but I am working on another documentary that uh, will hopefully come out in the next year or so. So I'll keep you guys posted on that as the, uh, the project unfolds. See if we got some more question here. All right, Joel Frank asks, when was the last time the tree was worked on before I started? Um, more than likely, it was at least two to three years because the branches had floated up so high on the tree. Um, this tree, like I said before, was styled for the Kokofu, and I'm not sure when the last time it was put in the Kokofu was, um, but it's definitely been at least a couple of years because the branches had floated up considerably before I started. And when I post the before and after photos later, you'll be able to see that much more clearly. Um, but that would be my best guess. Now, the reason I don't know exactly is because this tree just came into the nursery three days ago, two days ago. So it just arrived. It, it had been kept at another nursery for the past few years and, uh, Fujikasen just picked it up this last week. So. Uh, that's why I don't know the full backstory on the tree.
All right, I got a question from Philip Maddox. My shinpaku has turned light brown, but still holding its foliage versus it crumbling and falling off. Not sure what to do, Bjorn. Maybe it's a goner. If it's turned light brown and the fo well, if the foliage is still holding, it might be okay. Uh, if where you live right now is the winter, quite often junipers will turn a brownish, kind of purplish color in the winter. So that may be what it is. If, uh, if the foliage does start to crumble, it's probably gone. Um, so it's hard to tell at this point, it depends on where you live and what the climate is, but it's probably hard to tell in the video, but this tree actually has a bit of a purplish uh, brown hue to it, and that's just the winter coloration.
thanks, Nathan. Nathan says, happy Australia Day. Looks great as always. I appreciate it. Good to hear from you. Uh, let's see. Someone else asked, is it because the tree is in a dormant stage that you're dressed so warm to work it? Yeah, it's fr it's freezing here. <laughs> the, uh, the sun just came out now, so it's feeling a little bit warmer. But this morning it was, I think, right around maybe minus one, minus two uh, Celsius. So just below freezing. But uh, it's definitely warmed up a little now, but it's still very cold. Okay, so I got most of the apex wired at this point. Now I'm going to start setting the branches into place. Um, this is one of the more difficult parts of creating a bonsai is finishing out the apex. So I'll try to set that mostly for the video. And then again, like I said later, I'll stop the video and I'll post some photos of this tree before and after on my Facebook page so you can see the difference between the beginning and the end styling of this tree.
Moving along, right? Let's see if we get any other questions. Okay, I got a question from Michael Chinchilla. He said, the part of the tree looks a little bit brown. Is it due to the cold, and why does that happen? Thanks. Uh, I mentioned it earlier in the video. Uh, for those who weren't watching at that point, yes, the tree does have a brownish purple color to it, and that is because of the cold. This tree was outside at the previous nursery um, that it was kept in before it was brought here and uh, was not protected from the frost. So the frost will turn junipers like this a brown or uh, purplish type color, which is what's happened with this plant.
Okay, so in general, this tree is basically about done. I'm gonna put some moss on the soil surface, clean up the pot, do a little bit more detail work on it. Then I'll take it next door and display it and take some photos of it and post it on my Facebook page. So check back in a few hours when I upload that and you can see the before and after of this tree. Uh, I'm gonna be doing more of these videos into the future, so please uh, like this page, Bjorn Bjorn Home uh, Bonsai. Uh, I believe it's at Bjorn Bjorn Home Bonsai on Facebook, and you'll get updates uh, from that page when I'm doing these live events. So thank you for uh, checking it out. I'll do a pan of the tree here real quick so you can see it, and then we'll sign out. Okay, so we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.